Cheers, and welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Kev G. And Mike. I'm just going to have you guys introduce yeah, okay, yourself today, idea. by the way. Uh, <laughs> all right, that works. Hey, Pamela. Christy. John. Matt. <laughs> and uh, so let me ask you guys something. I grew up with the idea that you do not toast without an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> What's... What what did you guys grow up with? I call bullshit the, on that. Yeah. Cold, wait, wait, wait. Toast? Isn't toast the, the... You have to have an alcoholic beverage to taste. I don't think so. I was trying it's, to give him the example. So uh, you're having dinner with the family, and children are at the table, and Grandpa says something profound to the family, and everybody says, cheers. It's like, no, not you. Sit down. You're not drinking alcohol. The, the kids oh, weren't. Guess, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the kids guess, should be yeah. drinking alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count because the kids weren't given like grandpa, some grandpa's like malt liquor. Yeah, that, that malt, uh, yeah. Well, it depends on what state you're in. Yeah, maybe. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, somebody was running moonshine. Yeah. I think it's just cheering to the toast. <laughs> it has nothing really to do with the alcohol. I don't. I could. I think it's research a that, but I think it is a cultural. Uh, it is very cultural. Oh, it is very uh, cultural. Oui, oui. Yeah, and, and, and uh, you know, I mean, like in every culture has their own yeah. thing that they say when they cheers. You know, so there's that. There's that. A lot so, of them say for your so, health. Yeah, yeah, for your health is well, really common. Well, but beer in a lot of and wine was for your health. It was actually better than water. Yeah. Because water could be rancid and get same you thing, sick. Same thing with wine, yeah. too. Yeah, 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 the same thing yeah. with wine. Yeah. You know, something I was thinking about today that was interesting for me is I had a form to fill out. I know how much you love forms, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the questions was asking your um, race. And then it asks your date of birth. And Wait, my race and date of birth? <laughs> well, it's, it's <laughs> Why are you filling out this form for me? <laughs> you know this guy named Matt. Could you please fill in his information for us? Because we don't have any record of him. <laughs> I guess what I was getting to is there's a portion where you fill in your date of birth. And it asks if that is your exact date of birth. <laughs> And I asked her that, and I said, how could you mistake your date of birth? And she said, it's known in Mexican culture that you are born on a day, but the registration system takes so long really? that wow. they will assign the date of registration as your date of birth, but your parents won't then remember the date. So it's kind of like you have two birthdays. Wow. I didn't know that. So well, I found that interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I know somebody in the U.S. who had that happen with Social Security. They have their birthday wrong. Um, yeah, I don't because know exactly that, how it got screwed huh? up, yeah. but yeah, just government screwed yeah. it up. Because Government's that's the registration right. date. That's the yeah. date that they list on any of their forms. My grandfather joined the Army when he was 15, so he had the Social Security, the government age, and he had his real age. You know, which is, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, even as an old man, you know, actually. Yeah, oh, that's yeah the, uh, the, the first uh, two world wars, there was a lot of people right. doing that. My uh, great-grandpa, he joined when he was, like, 16, something yeah. like that, and, you know, my... Uh, Hell, even my dad, I mean, he went to Vietnam when he was, or not to Vietnam, but he joined the army in that period when he was 17, you know, and somehow they're like, oh, But you oh, can yeah, still yeah. join the military at 17. Really? Really? Yeah. I thought you had With to parents' permission. With the, parents' oh, permission, okay. yeah. My yeah. dad joined at 17. Yeah. His dad signed, yeah. So. In horse racing, interestingly enough, horses, all, all horses' birthdays are set to January 1st, regardless of when they are born. January 1st of the year oh, that they're born. So if you're born, yeah. if the horse is born in December, its birthday is January 1st of that year. What huh. if it's December 31st? Then you're born January 1st of that year. Oh. Yep. And the reasoning for that? So they can race them earlier. Horse culture. Mm. Horse well, culture. Horse they culture. know they do it. <laughs> no, there is, there is, there is legitimately a culture around <laughs> horse racing. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and horses in, in general. <laughs> So if you haven't guessed by now, <laughs> uh, we're talking about poison. cultural culture. Poison. Poison. <laughs> John calls Not culture no. poison. Talking about it can be good. Some good yeah, things to culture. Yeah. So poison and, and good are sitting next to each other. <laughs> I uh, I mean to me like I I, th I think about culture. It, for me there there is good things about you know, what, what certain groups do together and what they think is acceptable and what they think is not acceptable. For example, we all hang out with each That's other right. because we this all agree about certain right things. And yeah. we, we, you know, we kind of think like, well, we wouldn't want a guy around who is like a cop or a fed or something because we know you've been here before. That's right. um, you know, like we wouldn't want those sort of folks around. But, uh, you know, so, so that, that's kind of our own little culture our, in our own little group. 
But, you know, I mean, there are things about culture where, uh, you know, it, it gets... It's like marketing. Well, yeah, you know, it gets... It's marketing. It's very powerful. Culture is a very powerful tool, and it can be used for good, and it can be used for bad. I think we use it for good well, here. Yeah, I mean, they, it's, they, a, it's a... And horses. Uh, I don't know. Horse culture can get kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. I think we could probably tighten our terms down, but when I think of culture, like you know, and I say it poison. I I mean it like being from the south, and when I return to the south, I love every minute of it. It, The 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 greenness, the hospitality, right up to the point where I get so-called Christians damning. Ragheads and niggers, and all of a sudden I'm done with the South, you know what yeah. I mean? Right. It's, it's yeah. time to leave again. Yeah. 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 It's no longer are beautiful. Bad, you know? Some cultures are good, some no, are bad. Here's something like I, 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 don't, I don't think it's so much, I don't think it's so much uh, some cultures are good and some cultures are bad. I think certain aspects of some cultures yes. can okay. be good and right. other aspects right. can right. be bad. Right, right. right. But well, I mean, like, cultures are similar to tradition. I, right, you're doing it because your grandparents true. did, or you're from a location. A lot of it's based not, on tradition. Not Some because it's a it good is, idea, though. though. Well, here's something, right? Like I watch. Sometimes my it's, a, it's a tradition because it's a good idea, though. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll watch a uh, uh, Korean, specifically. We'll use Korean as an example. Uh, history, historical pieces, uh, movies, in subtitles with my daughter, and if. If you don't speak the language, and you don't even, you don't even have to read it, but you just look at it, and you're like, wow, that's really beautiful. All these ornate, uh, uh, the clothes they wear, and these customs, and everything's beautiful. All these hats they wear. And even and like then, the, the origin of like the writing, you know, you look at, um, I don't mean to interrupt, but I would just, you, you mentioned the, the ornateness of it all, is that you go, you know, you, you go back to looking at, uh, Old Korean, old Chinese, old Japanese, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, well, each one's called something. The, the, the glyphs, I, I guess. Kanji. Yeah. It's called yeah. Kanji. That's kanji. Japanese yeah. specific. Well, and there's actually two written forms. So there's probably more. Karakana. Karakana. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all new, Japanese. That's the news, right? But in, it's But yeah. it's not called Kanji in Korean. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all right. specifically right. Japanese. Right, right, okay. So yeah, you're, okay. you're, but yeah, you, you look at the transition of it. I mean, they, they go back and find, you know, old stonework or whatever. And you can see the transition to where that particular um, symbol. Uh, symbol, yeah, mm-hmm. there, thank you. Symbol is probably a better word. Um, you know, originally it looked like a turtle, and then like mm-hmm. over the thousands of years, it's, it's been added know. on and subtracted, and now that word used to just, or that symbol used to literally mean turtle, but now it's just the sounds like turtle, but it actually means something else because it's now it's just you know a consonant or something. That, that's well, that yeah. really yeah. goes into the evolution of the written word too, though. Yeah. No, no, true. But let me just finish that one point. Right. 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 Okay. Was that okay? You're watching it. You don't. You're not familiar with the culture. You're not familiar with the language. And if you didn't read it, you wouldn't know. But the point is, is that there's all these beautiful hats. But then you find out that the the size of the brim was relative to rank in society. Does it really? So, in other words, there's this beauty in your face, but there's this this confining, restricting poison. If you you grew up in it, if you grew up in the culture, there would be a different meaning than what we see on the outside. Wow. So, yeah, so there's so many things that are beautiful about cultures, but when you really understand it, there. You know, there are good aspects and negative aspects, positive and negative, and I, I agree. Yeah. But that ultimately, that it, no, no, ultimately. I look at as culture is just a software that we all run on our, on our head. Formerly, I used to run, you know, Marine Infantry 101 on my brain housing group. And then, like, kind some of kind of like big L libertarianism <laughs> was back in there somewhere. And then there's another software, and all of these were different cultures that I was running on my head in my on my hard drive, and that's the way I view culture is well, but I but I, this is a culture right here we have a culture I, of well, voluntarism I, right here I mean this is what we talk about it's a how, culture of true of, but it's like it, I, don't, I don't really look at it the same I think we could actually do a better job of ferreting out and, and better defining terms but uh, if you wanted to loosely call this a culture that what makes this different is it's a, a culture honoring individuality so it's yeah. almost anti-culture yeah, but yeah, if somebody walked in, this... Culture, culture and tends to be very collectivistic. Right. Well, well but we are collectivistic. If there was somebody <laughs> who was not like we are, we probably would not... They wouldn't fit into this culture. It is a culture, you guys. This yeah, is a culture. Yeah, that's how we figure out people are feds exactly. when they show up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, when you I think, are here. I think <laughs> what you say. I, I think this group has been very inclusive, though. It is very inclusive. But we know when some something's not... 
um, like when when somebody um, advocates violence, you know, when they prod you to say, you know, is that what you're up to? Is you know, wanting to kill cops or whatever? You know, that's just not part of our culture to have violence. It's so right. it is part of our culture. We have a culture here. I think it's Killing more cops? of a way what? of thinking and a way of no, being. <laughs> You what? I think it's more of a, just a way of thinking, a philosophy. I think that's what culture is, is a way of thinking. I don't. I really? see culture as like kind of what Matt said. It's based on tradition. Like in Sentara, you turn 15, you have a big yeah. party. Why? Because yeah. you need to spend money you don't well, have. Well, but this is the beginning parts of it. I mean, because this is new. This All this is new. So we could be the the, the beginning of a new culture. This is I a different episode saying, altogether, right, but right, I saved yeah. the quinceañera one time. Oh. I rescued the quinceañera from total doom. Oh, no. yeah. well, well, that's I just a different think, story, but yeah, sorry. I, I do appreciate your, your thought and where you're going with that, Christy. I can't see what you're, what you're getting at. I do. But I think that also kind of goes against what we are doing, what we're being. We're trying not to assign ourselves to anything. We're trying not to associate with, with you know, tradition or creating holidays, or I think we're trying to break away from that. But in that in itself is a culture because but, we're breaking away so, from it. So it's, it's an un, it's an un tradition. It's an I'd un rather just not be assigned. If, well, if you, you yeah, I think it's the same as like calling anarchy a system. It's not a system. It's the opposite of right, a system. Right. But just like system, this, though, just, right. just like this is not so much a culture so much as anti culture. Well, but that's a culture. See, to me, that's a culture. <laughs> culture, culture, of culture. culture of anti-culture <laughs> is a culture. So there are there any other cultures that anybody so would like to discuss that I, might I, be... Well, I, I was thinking what, uh, well, I'm sorry, Matt, you were... I think the difference between, like, what's going on here and, like, culture, culture, like we were talking about, is generally an idea that has been passed along and you, you use that idea because that's what you've been told is a good idea. Um, what we're doing is opposite. We're doing, we're mm -hmm. changing, we're... We don't want to get the government involved. We want to be individuals. We don't want to follow the, you know, the pack or have hierarchies. Uh, and so, if you're stepping away from how things have normally been done, which I'd call culture, what what is normal, um, then it, it's not really culture at that point. I, I'd say it's it's something new. It's a new idea. I, I think it could become culture, and at that point, I may no longer think of culture in such a nasty manner. But at this point, it's it's not the same. It's it's a new idea. It's it's different from. Um, you could say it's a new it's culture. It's a new culture. I'm, I'm not saying it's a new counterculture. Culture. I'm not an expert there or anything, but we could explore the term counterculture. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So what would counterculture? Mean I don't know. Yeah, Basically, the the yeah. countering yeah. culture. Yeah. Counterculture. Counter 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 it's a term. Counter the FBI counter came up with, I, so I think I, I think counterculture is not so much anti-culture as it is a, a culture a, a, another culture against the predominant well that's kind of what this is <laughs> yeah uh, well see the the way i see culture is as almost another law and in fact this is how i was taught in school was that you had levels to the law and i grew up a fundamentalist christian uh, evangelical uh, in an evangelical free church, mm -hmm. and we were taught that there were different levels to, to law. You had, I forget what it's called, but it's the, it's the main body of, of principles uh, in Christianity. It would be the Ten Commandments. Ecclesiastical? Ecclesiastical? Not really. Okay, all right. Uh, that, that encompasses all okay, uh, religious all right. law. Okay, all right. Uh, but underneath that, you have what's known as casuistry law, which is the applied law uh, that comes from the principles. Are kazoos involved in any way, shape, Kazoo's or form? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I do not believe so. <laughs> okay, all right. That was not part oh of the God, culture. I thought of a kazoo. In <laughs> but then underneath casuistry, you had cultural norms, which would be like uh, levels of modesty. Right. Uh, things like manners. And you know the, the the little the little things that the culture imposes on those in the culture, it, it's self-imposed by the different people, but it's still established norms. Yeah, established norms exactly. <laughs> yeah, and there are like and and so style. it 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 creates this system that really is exclusatory. It, it excludes those that. Are not part of that culture. They're not conforming, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Uh, multiculturalism is, uh, is, I think, a little bit different in that they try to include every culture. But I don't think that that really hits it on either because, they're, like we said a little earlier, there's, there's beautiful parts of cultures like the arts and music mm-hmm. and things like that. But then there's the collectivist um, controlling mechanisms yeah, yeah. involved as well. Yeah. They, um, like arranged marriages. Yeah, the whole caste system in in India, for instance. Yeah, that's a, was, that's a was all example. cultural. Yeah. Well, I don't know about all culture. I'm it, sure it, there was a lot of law it, built into there it. Was, over there was there was a lot of law. And as a matter of fact, like you think of Africa. Uh, not, I, I don't want to go off too too much on a tangent because I almost kind of wanted to think of more. But but a lot stuff, of a lot of yeah. a lot of the caste system was culturally imposed. If there was somebody yeah, in a lower caste than you, yeah. you did not yeah. associate yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Didn't take a law for you. It just was cultural. Is this kind of like true. social ostracization? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we do that now. Sure. Yeah. yeah. What's the difference between the two? Mm. I don't think there is the name. Yeah, it's just a name. There's been a title affixed, I suppose. Um, I, I wanted to touch on on uh, Africa a little bit. I, I don't know a lot about it, but you know, there. You, you think Where I'm, in Africa are you talking? Unfortunately, the whole damn continent. Uh, I really hate to say it like that, but it's it's, it's kind of true. You have, it, and it's it's quite literally all the the colonial powers' fault when they had. You know, when they had control over Africa and had it all divided up, and you know, at one point they all got together with a map and snifters of brandy and monocles <laughs> and like drew lines French, in Africa, the, right? The English, yeah, 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 yeah. But you, um, um, the genocide in Rwanda, okay? That was mainly the the who were the good guys and who were the bad guys, depending on what the shape of your nose was. Literally, really? that was, was it. it. Really? Was wow. was who like you know who is the people being persecuted against was what their nose looked oh, like. That. that came from when it was a French colony, and if you and if the Africans had a more European looking nose, they could work for the French government. If they had a wider nose, they could not. Oh, wow. And so even after the French left, because it had been that way for a hundred some odd years, probably about hundred and eighty. Th- that was still the thing that was a cultural norm because it had been that way imposed on them. But, you know, uh, your grandpa dies, your great-grandpa dies, and you forget where it came from and it just becomes a thing sometimes. Right. And then that's, well, that's what, what really what caused this it. Is, this is just the beginnings of a culture. Mm-hmm. I do believe it's just a, a thought, a mindset that then becomes something that... Well, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a mindset yeah. that gets us going to yeah. the right direction of, of rejecting so. that that idea of, of judging people on, on, on superficial right. bullshit. Yeah. So do, do you think that um, it, as culture evolves, it, could, it would be a, a worldwide mindset? Uh, it could it if it took... And, and I think it could... I really think because culture is so powerful that if we created a, a culture that was peaceful, nonviolent, um, it would be a good thing. I really I, think culture is a, a great tool to use to I think to further freedom to further liberty and peace I, I I think uh, I'm sorry Christy I'm I'm going to disagree with you That's here okay. Justin <laughs> because I will cross although, swords with you <laughs> all right <laughs> although although we can tend to resemble a culture with our with our Grouping, I guess we group the, because of ideology. because of our ideology. Right. Principles. But Principles. we all we all have our own forms of music we like, art. Yeah, but why um, does it have to include all of that? It, does culture because have that's to part of does that's part of to? culture. Yeah, I think what hmm. yeah what unifies shared, this is actually pr- our principles. Right. Right. You know, something a character yeah, sure. principle, character and principle over other interests. You know, yeah, but yeah, I'm not sure that it has to include art and music and all that, a culture. The definition of yeah, culture what is then? the definition Yeah, yeah, for culture. funsies, we looked it up before the show. We did? Uh, yeah, oh. yeah I, I, I looked it up. <laughs> and uh, to save a lot of time and not reading the incredibly long definition of the word culture, and it's incredibly long for, you know, a, a simple, what you would think would be a simple definition, it is more or less everything. Culture is just more or less everything that people do Right. Uh, as a group is kind of what it says, more or less. 
It's specifically listed art, music, products, remember? And products, which yeah. is incredibly brave. This it's is incredibly brave. Yeah. Ian could have like oh, a one, one, have, one yeah, person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Too bad we're not Ian, Ian's we not miss here. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, it, it, it goes back to, uh, you know, I mean, some of these things that we, we think of is, is cultural being okay and normal and all that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, go back so far to when we're like, we're, we're tiny, you know, I mean, babies, think about, think about this, you know, uh, babies are born. Well, if, if it's, if it's a, if it's a boy, guess what? It's, it's going to get blue stuff, isn't it? It's always going to get blue stuff. Right. That used God, to be the opposite. It, yeah. yeah. I was going to, I was going to kind of, It used to be pink and blue were the opposite. Yeah. Anyway. I didn't know it was the opposite. Pink used to be a male color and blue was considered female. That's what I read. I didn't know it was the opposite. Only like a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah. I I knew that part, that it was like about a hundred years ago where they had like that sort of rules were established, but I didn't know it was the opposite. Remember that one scene in the Monty Python where she has a baby and the baby comes out and she asks, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor says, isn't it a bit, a bit too early to impose roles on it? <laughs> <laughs> is that being alive? Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. So, do you think that there's a purpose to culture? I think it just happens as it's people kind of, of like awkward. minds come together, or you grow up <clears throat> in certain areas yeah. and you just become. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's indoctrinated yeah. into yeah, you. Yeah, well, yeah. I think it's changing now with uh, the internet and global communication being so prevalent. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Uh, localized, yeah. localized mm-hmm. culture is becoming now globalized, and right. people are sharing ideas. And when, when you when you grow up in an area and they do things a certain way, and you never you never see another right. way, then. That's you're going to do it that way. way. That, exactly. It develops different in different yep. places. But when you have the internet and access to all of, you know, human knowledge YouTube, that's on right. there. Yeah. Uh, and you, you have the ability to yeah. look, hey, how do people do this in other places? And you have the ability to say, you know what, that's a better idea yeah. than what we're doing. I, or they resonate with it. Because I do believe people resonate. They're, it's a, it's a so yeah, thing. When, yeah. when you have that, that, that kind of, yeah. you know, when people see new ideas that are better than theirs... If they're smart, then they're going to follow those ideas. See, I think that's the danger of culture, though, is that it traps you in the bad ideas mm-hmm. for the sake of cult, of community, of of, of collectivism. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, but it holds somebody... even when there's a even when there's a bad idea mixed into culture. It's hard to get those out because they're so ingrained from a young age that, that that's how you do things. And I think that's where the danger of culture really comes, yeah. comes and into play. And I don't play. deny that there aren't dangers to culture, but that's the danger of of s- stories, of, of, of what you teach your children. Of I mean, it's just it's a danger of information, of, of a way of life that you pass down. I, I think you can pass down good, good ways of being, too. So my brain so. went to witches. My brain went Ooh. to witches. All right. So mm-hmm. witches. Yeah. Who, who, consider, who is considered a witch? Okay. Well, so. A property-owning female. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so who is, who, is cons- <laughs> who, who, who is considered a witch? Anyone that the priesthood the doesn't priest like. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. more or less. But it was like, you know, it was, it was Usually certain, a woman it was, who's making trouble. Yeah, it, yeah. But it was like, there, there was kind of like little matrices they came up with to what determined it was like, well, she's outspoken. She's not married. Okay, so these are all cultural things that they were, they would use yeah. against her, right? You know, she is, so she's outspoken. She's not married. Wait a minute. She doesn't show up on church on Sunday. That seals <laughs> the deal. All right, now we got to bring she her must in for trial. With the devil. She must be in league with the devil. <laughs> And sometimes she talks to children, and after she talks to children, the children, like, you know, get excited and happy and run around. Oh, God, she's a witch burner. Well, you know, like, well that's like, something well, that's heal. really interesting, too, about that, is that witches don't really exist. And I don't mean that, that there's not Wiccans no, or that, that right. a culture of paganism doesn't exist. I mean, the term witch actually comes as, from Christianity as a negative term for... Females practicing yeah. the dark arts and stuff of like course. that, yeah. but yeah. but as a people such as the druids, mm-hmm. they didn't consider they didn't call themselves witches. Well, right. in the case of druids, they called yeah. themselves druids. You know what that reminds me of? 
terrorists and freedom fighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they're on our side, they're freedom fighters. Right, right. Yeah. If they're against us, they're terrorists. Oh, we're terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was almost that. thinking like, uh, you know, you're saying like, you know, there weren't any witches. I was uh, yeah. similar vein. I was kind of thinking like, who's Al Qaeda again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and it's and ISIS now. And ISIS right, 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 right. now. It changed right. like that. And America, um, America is very pro democracy until that democracy turns against us. Right. Then we have to <laughs> overthrow them and yeah. put in a dictator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when that democracy decides Iraq. they don't want a central bank, all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, right, democracy, right, but we yeah. got a veto vote. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wars, and yeah. Ca- uh, carriers yeah. and all sorts of shit. Yeah. One thing you brought up, Chrissy, that's kind of, I think, interesting is, uh, or I forget who brought it up, but that uh, something about smart versus non smart people. I wonder if culture might be a way of uh, a social meme going through human society without people needing to understand it at some deep fundamental level. So, for example, the culture might change from monarchy is bad to democracy is good without understanding why. And that could be a force of good if it's a good it idea. It could. Well, but I don't think everybody's <laughs> conscious. So if, if there's a way to actually bring people who aren't conscious into a... I mean, it's just powerful. I, I don't right. know. It can be used for good. It could be used for bad. It's just culture is powerful. Um, there are, you know, lots of people who aren't awake yet. And that's a way to actually bring them without them being conscious. Is that, oh, yeah, they're just doing it because it's the cool thing to do and it's the cultural, it's the culture they resonate with at that moment. I think, yeah. I think it can be, that culture can be used to direct people to where you believe is good. Yes, you're right, exactly. But oh. I don't right. think, that's why it's powerful. culture, culture yes. in itself, I believe, is a control mechanism that's and true. we really need but to dissolve control mechanisms. I don't, think, I don't mechanisms. think we can live without it. I think it I think is stand- part of being I, I think it, I, I think, I think we should can and should evolve past that though. I don't know socially if we can. evolve past that. I don't that. know if we can. I think I think Stanhope's called Use your culture. Yeah. <laughs> Stanhope said culture, religion, and tradition. It's easy if you try. They're all dead <laughs> people's baggage. Stop carrying them. Right? Yeah, 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 that's a good. It's passed on to you. Pass it back. Yeah, <laughs> I think is what he said. Yeah. But like, yeah, he's the Dutchy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm kind of on your side, Chrissy, because I think in a lot of ways you might need cool people to. Yeah. Pass on a good idea, yeah. for example. Yep. A lot of terrible ideas are passed on by cool but, people, and that's right. why they're passed on. But, you don't but the good ideas, if it's a good idea, you don't need it. Yeah. But if it's a good idea, you don't need, like, a personality. It's, Ideally, it's yeah, a I totally agree. Idea. Yeah. But the thing is... But it things get passed on, faster when it, you have a good personality yeah, right, behind yeah. it. But it's, yeah. I mean, look at the anti-vax movement. That was nothing until Jenny McCarthy got behind it. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, here's the anti-vaccination type of question. Maybe, like, if we could get people blaming the public system, public education system, right? It puts all these kids' minds in a box, and so now we're generationally boxed. And, uh, little boxes it, yeah, on it, the if, uh, we were properly inoculated <laughs> towards individuality, so away from collectivism, then, then the negative aspects of culture or the, n- the need to convey ideas through culture becomes uh, mitigated. Yeah. See, I don't think there's a need to. I think it just is. I think culture just permeates by people who are like-minded who then pass on ideas. I don't think it's something we can get rid of. I think it is. It's we either embrace it or we don't. I mean, it's. I, I don't think I think we can as we get gradually get rid of hierarchies well, as a species, as our minds are culture free. will go away as well. So I've got a question. I don't know. As far as, a, at least as a dominating force Possibly. in our, yeah. in, yeah. in, in That's the lives of people. As artificial Wait, wait, wait. We should, we should all guess where this question is going to go. Uh, <laughs> where do you think this question is going to go, guys? As artificial <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> keeps it? growing. Yes. Right. right. Okay, all right. right, right. As, we as we yes. More and more, more and more artificial intelligence and right. sentient yes. beings uh-huh. developed. The culture will accept Robots. it. Yeah, more. perhaps in the do shape of like androids. Okay, yes. I gotcha. Right. Do you think there'll be cultural wars based on robot sex? Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, that could be. That could be. That could be. That could be. That could be even oh, more. Wait like, like yeah. Christians, like you can't have sex before wow. marriage, right? That could be right. kind of like even more controversial than like prostitution. Can you marry a robot? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of. Oh, hold on, guys. 
we're out of time. Oh. Damn it. One. Remember Always that. Happens. Every time. Next week, we need good, to talk about this. <laughs> this is definitely a topic we need to get to. Yes, robot but sex will happen. Unfortunately, it's not exactly. for tonight. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Peace. Good night. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>